hello friends in our last video what we have done we have uploaded a file excel file so excel file was uploaded in power bi in import mode and the entire data is cached and this is the only option available in power bi for excel file that is also case for flat files so i am starting my new video here with the topic loading data from csv and xml files into power bi loading data from csv and xml files i am repeating into power bi that is also case for flat files now we are loading data from a csv flat files so what is the data set data set is about honey production it's a honey production data set for usa for different cities for a handful of years beyond the structure we can understand that only first one column is the string and the other remaining columns are numericals in which six uh, in which one column is the decimal column number 6 is the decimal and other columns are the numerical whole numbers so when we go to the above side we can understand this will be converted to the header automatically by the power bi so if we go to the down side we can see how much of the rows there there are 600 plus rows there in overall honey production data set so now we will go to the power bi we will see we can see our first row is converted to the header or not by power query editor so what we will do we will go to the get data we will go to the we will select csv file and we will navigate over to the honey production so we will go to the m and we will load this to the power bi this is the so this is the preview of the data we can have some changes here if we really want in file origin and delimiter data type of detection there is originally given western european windows if we want some another kind of change here in file origin then we can have options here if we want the change in the delimiter column equal sign semicolon whatever we want to change then we can have we can also customize it with the width data type detection is on the based on first 200 rows if you want to change this to the entire data set or do not detect data types you can also have same change of changes rather than applying any transformation by power query editor we are just going to load the data in few seconds the data will data will be in field menu so by simply click in field menu we will see here there is some another data set honey production i will bring to your attention it is coming in the power bi desktop field menu so i will bring to your attention that naming convention that is typically adopted in power bi is like this when we are working with power bi it is typically adopted with lower case for csv so what we can do here for our on Uh, understanding and for end user understanding we can rename it we can convert first word to the capital so it will be really easy 
and it will appear good honey production this is the name i have to rename it again because h is in a small so now it's fine so we have chosen the name honey production then you can understand there is a general convention but there is a no rule for naming in the power bi but for uh, if we are using multiple number of data set for visualization purpose so we uh, make the name clear so we or end user don't have any type of uh, misconception so uh, if we expand the honey production we can see the all columns here and we can see that except state all other are numeric columns so we can add let's move to the report view so now we are going to the data view if we are simply clicking here by default it's coming amazon books if we are going to we are clicking here honey production so we can screen along so what it contains we can see there are two different tables entirely different data set we cannot uh, we cannot use this more this to set up a relationship in this what we can see we can simply see here there is only this one is the uh, data set which con uh, data uh, column which contains a string otherwise all others are numerical and price uh, contains the price contain values in the points that contains decimal values so if we will go to the model view we can understand there are two we can see there are entirely two different tables which are uh, completely independent we cannot use this model view to set up a relationship because this is not the uh, focusing part of this video in fact we will be focused towards relationship in coming vi videos but to loading two different type of data set into power bi and transformation applied on them is important for this video so back to the report tab two types of data we can see two types of data are successfully uploaded let's focus on one more file which is xml file containing information about laptop for different platform this is a uh, a part of your course material and you can download all type of data sets from the description box it contains so if we will read this file xml file it contains number of row elements within a uh, top level root element what information it is giving each row element represent a specific laptop and each of these are described by number of different fields precisely it's 13 these includes company product name cpu gp price in euros so the challenge for power bi is to convert this xml data into power bi and you can see each row element can be transformed into a row element in our table so what we will do we will do go to the go to table get data menu we will go to the more option to access xml file and we will simply navigate to the xml file and we 
we will simply click here then you can see which type of file we can use uh, we can load so it is simply laptop.xml file we will simply click here open so we need to decide which of the element will be important there are number of row element here if we simply click here if you are having n number of uh, element here you can you can have in your mind which type of element you want to load by simply clicking you can see which one element you want to add if, if there is only a single element so we are clicking only a single element so you can see every single row of xml is converted into a row of a table the name of each field is converted to the header of the table in xml file if you read you uh, go and read that name of each single row is converted to the header once after look up the data you can choose to the load with the default transformation or however let's pull up power query editor by simply clicking the transform data this is will uh, this is where you are going to the in the power query editor to add it in the data and this time we will make some transformation this is not which will not be the complex in applied steps menu we will see there is change type there is change type so what we can see there is field 1 which is uh, only numeric type other other values company product type name all are string so let's first give a give a meaningful name to this particular details we can we should give this name to the laptop details so by looking at field 1 we can notice that it's not really required in the data set because it's only serial number and it should be, it is best to keep away with it from menu uh, because it will reduce the complexity one of the best practice when you come across power bi is to make sure that reduce unnecessary columns and keep them so uh, unnecessary uh, data will be kept away what we will do by simply right click here we can go to the remove and this column will be removed because it was only serial number there so that's why we removed you cannot so by so you can have the changes by simply hitting next to st you can cancel the cancel the you can cancel the changes by hitting the next to the control button by apply distress next to the cancel button it will occupy less memory fewer columns will be if you ha we have converted to fewer columns it will uh, reduce the rows it will reduce the complexity it will occupy less memory if fewer columns then fewer space will be so data import mode he here will be in the so cached in memory so cached in the power bi service once we move this report over to it by eliminating unnecessary we make sure only required data loaded into memory so more memory is available to other purposes so more so al more along with them we will go to the what we uh, want to change we done what we will do here we can see source navigation change type what we have already done so we will simply click here and close and apply so if uh, we are seeing here three types of data set if we will go and simply click here on right uh, side laptop details is loaded into power bi we can see there are only few numeric fields few means inches and price are numeric fields if we go to the data view we can see there are 
रैम एंड दिस इज नोट द डिटेल इफ यू गो टू दानी यस दिस इज इफ यू गो टू द डेटा व्यू एंड वी विल सी हियर मेमोरी सॉरी रैम एंड वेट these are also numeric fields but uh, power bi is not considering them uh, as a numeric because of kg and gb you know it is considering them as a, a string we can have some transformation by converting them uh, them to the numeric field but it's not workable here because we are learning here to load different type of data sets and have small uh, change in power query editor how to load different type of data set so if we will we'll go to the modal view and we will scroll here we will see laptop details here so you can understand how different types of data sets has been loaded in power bi and in coming videos we will also learn how uh, load diff so in this video you learn how to load different type of data sources in coming videos we will learn how to load more different more other kind of file like json file in uh, coming video we will see how to download so we have uh, uploaded three files excel files amazon books honey production files and laptop details successfully in power bi so friends i hope you understood and all of the link all uh, links of the of the data set you will find in the description box so you can download for your own practice and power bi desktop you can download freely from the net so you can practice better way thank you thank you so much